In April of 2006, 30 soldiers from the New Hampshire National Guard Medical Command set out on a two-week mission to help the people of El Salvador. A mix of Army and Air Guardsmen, their mission was to provide basic medical care to rural parts of the country as part of a medical readiness exercise. The mission was a part of a much larger operation called New Horizons, which involved a variety of humanitarian aid. It is a different universe entirely, completely different mission than anything we've done in the past. To be able to go to another country and help people and actually use your skills um, is, is un unreal, unbelievable. Many of their patients could not afford to see a doctor for their illnesses or injuries. These people are, you know, so grateful for simple things that we wouldn't even think to go to the doctor for. We got to get a lot of medications um, from antibiotics to vitamins out to people that really need it, that can't afford it on their own. Um, I've also learned that medications out in town can be extremely expensive as well as medical care. So a lot of people aren't able to um, afford the luxury of even basic medical care which makes this mission that much more rewarding. To be able to help even that small amount that we do makes you feel good as well. In addition to basic medical care, the people of El Salvador received medications, dental care, and eye examinations. 241 people were fitted for eyeglasses. The lines of waiting people were virtually endless. Over the course of 10 days, the team treated more than 5,000 patients. This morning, I think we averaged um, 20, or two to three hundred patients in the first two hours. We always sit around and complain when we have, you know, 30 patients to do for the day, so I don't think I'll be complaining anymore. The unit was able to accomplish such an enormous task through teamwork and communication. We're almost hitting 700 patients today. We, if we were not a team and working together, make sure we all are hydrated, make sure we all eat, you know, take breaks, we would not have met the goal that we met today, and the day's not even over. One of the biggest obstacles they had to overcome was the language barrier. While a handful of translators were on hand to help, the demand was overwhelming, and the soldiers had to pick up the language fast. I have learned so much Spanish in the past week. <laughs> Despite the differences in languages, the people of El Salvador were eager to share their culture. I've learned a lot about a different culture, a culture that I didn't know anything about. I brought a bottle of Coke, <laughs> and these are cuatro papusas. In addition to helping the people of El Salvador, New Horizons also provided the unit with relevant and meaningful training. National Guardsmen are required to train two weeks out of the year, and many said this was the best one yet. Outstanding, outstanding training, outstanding training as a unit. It's unbelievable. I, wish, I hope we can do, continue on and do this on a yearly basis because it helps the community around here and it also helps us to grow as a unit. I hope we do it every year. It's awesome. I think people should do this more often. Not only does it give you the experience of seeing a culture firsthand and appreciating what you have back home, but when you leave, you know that you've done something and that's something you, you can never take away. Do you think you'll do one of these again? Oh, absolutely. Are you kidding me? I'm ready to do it next month. Let's go, let's go, go again. People join the National Guard for many different reasons and many enjoy the unique opportunities and experiences that the National Guard offers. I mean, being in a medical unit when I want to go into the medical field is an awesome opportunity. There's so many people to talk to. I was a medic and um, when I heard about being a direct commission when I got my nursing degree, um, that's the avenue I took. So it's been an outstanding career for me. When you go through the same hardships together, uh, you definitely form a family. <laughs> They're camaraderie and it's like it's truly like a family. The National Guard allows me to enjoy the satisfaction of being in the military and at the same time I can still have a community, I can still have a home and you can have roots in a way that you can't in any other branch of service. If you would like to know more about the New Hampshire National Guard please call us at 1-800-GO-GUARD or visit our website at www.1800goguard.com.